previously on Welcome to the Family. It's a VIP media night. A very dark pitch black jungle. Somebody put a snake on top of me and it oh! How do we get out? Party bus. Are you ready? I hate clubs. First thing I see is in the face. This is not the club I thought it was. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So I absolutely love animals and I really love zoos. But I haven't been to Miami Metro Zoo, which is now known as Zoo Miami, in like over 10 years. I was really excited to just see how they've changed everything. And then I was also really excited to be able to meet Ron McGill. When they said we were going to interview Ron, I was really excited because I grew up watching Ron. Ron looks like he's the owner of Metro Zoo. He's been around forever. When it comes to animals and zoos, he's really famous. Hi, let's go this way. And on top of that, besides being his big personality, Ron is also really, really big. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for coming out. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm Ron McGill. I'm the Communications Media Relations Director here. So I'm calling the Goodwill Ambassador here at Zoo Miami, and I've been here for 35 years. I've watched this place grow from a small little preview center to this over 300 developed acres now on a 700 acre footprint of land, surrounded by beautiful wildlife. I get to work with great people. I get to look at kids come in here and have this expression of wonder. It's a tremendous reward to be able to come to a place that inspires people. So the Monster Masquerade is this really fun adult themed Halloween party at Zoo Miami. We've got uh, great entertainment. We've got the haunted house at the, the uh, Dr. Wiles creepy house. We got to go as a team and so we decided to go in a masquerade kind of theme where we all wore masks. There's something to be said about people. Once they put on a costume, they kind of think they're anonymous. It gets a little freaky. I kind of like it. People come here and some of the things they wear are totally outrageous. It's fantastic. Everybody in the team kind of did a little different twist with the mask. Eric had this really cool mask and then he had this hood thing happening. I like capes. <laughs> I like capes probably because of Superman. I had a mask and a hat going on. Alex looked awesome. And Bert, he was wearing the blow up suit and looked awesome. LJ had this mask and his nose that I think must have been getting in the way when he was filming. My nose keeps bumping into crap. <laughs> they have, like when we walk in, they have these um, animal handlers, like there was a snake. Uh, there was also a rat tail attached to a rat, but he, we, Bert and I were like fingering this tail, which was very, it felt strange. Is that, that's a strange way to say it, right? Fingering the tail? <laughs> <laughs> Through the smoke and all the crowd of people. Eat my moon pies if you dare. <laughs> they have these wonderful food booths set up. A lot of food, so much food. We were so happy about the food, some of us could even dance in joy. Bacardi was one of the sponsors, so there was definitely a lot of free libations going on. That's fancy talk for just free drinks. The Monster Masquerade even had a haunted house, which was really creative. Definitely very unique. The way they decorated everything was very cool. Oh my god, is anybody taking that? I'll take it. The haunted house was cool, it was nice. Very detailed. But it was so much fun. We are at Monster Masquerade, Zoo Miami 2014, the biggest event that's ever been. Just there was live music, DJ Laz was there. DJ Laz! <laughs> DJ Laz has been around for like over 20 years. He does real great mixes. It was catered to my demographic. So it was fun, the music was great, and LJ forgot he was working. I think one of LJ's favorite parts is to go on stage. He ended up dancing, and the audience was going crazy. They were going wild as LJ did his moves on stage. He was rocking the... No, he wasn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Ron McGill. Yeah. Drink, come take pictures with me, and grab me any way you want. 
And of course, since it's Halloween, everyone's dressed in costumes, and then of course they have to throw a big contest for the costumes. Say that five times fast. Coming up first, the one and only Darth Vader! I like him because he has capes. He had a cape. Have I mentioned they like capes? I like capes. Some people might call it a fetish. Give it up for Hylia's own Flintstone! We have our very own bunny in the building. Why am I turned on right now? This is not good. There are cool costumes, even though I should have won. <laughs> so in the end, it came down to three main contestants that was decided on by the general public and the audience applause. The Predator! As the night wore on, a lot of people were getting definitely crazier. And as you can tell, it's full of lusciousness. Esto es la fiesta del mundo. Aquí tenemos tanto gente. Algunos se ven bien tristes, pero algunos se ven bien, tú sabes. Bound chiki bound bound. Incredible music, incredible partying, haunted house, the whole nine yards, baby. You live the dream. You come here, you never want to leave. I'm making it happen with Bull World. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Alexa from Welcome to the Family. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and share with your friends and family.